Hi everyone, seems ages ago since I was able to speak to you all. Um, I just want to start by saying I can't wait to see you all back on the corridors. We're really, really excited about having you back. Um, and we've done loads in school to try and make sure that it's safe for you. So when you come back, I've just put together a very quick video um, about what we have done to keep you safe and what we need and really do need your help when you come back. So there's going to be a few challenges for all of us and it's going to be very difficult to do. The biggest challenge is going to be socially distancing. So we need to keep one metre apart at all times. So that means at break time, lunch time, you cannot be next to each other. You cannot be in groups of tight-knit friends. However, you can be with them one metre apart. And it's really, really important that we keep each other safe by doing that. The other thing are masks, face coverings. We need you to wear them. Now, some people will not be able to wear them and we, we get that, that's fine. So, as we did before Christmas, just go and see Mrs Gregory and she will give you a little pass. So, if you're on the corridor, instead of a member of staff saying, where's your mask, you can just show them the card. Makes it easy for you. Also, the other thing that we've had to do is introduce lateral flow testing. You've probably seen videos and you've seen it on the news and we require this to try and reduce the number of COVID cases. There's a short video that we've put together just to help you. When you come into school, the first thing you'll be doing is a lateral flow test. Where possible, please take the test, talk to your parents about it, because it does show it reduces the number of COVID cases around school. And it is about us supporting and keeping each other safe. The next thing is, You've nearly spent a year out of uniform and we completely understand that your uniform may not fit you anymore. So we're going to make a few exceptions such as if the jumper doesn't fit, if your shoes are a bit too small now. However, we would like some kind of black footwear if you can um, up until you can either get new footwear um, or, and replace it. So that'd be great. We understand that's Times are very difficult for parents. Um, some people have lost jobs um, and we'd, we would like to support you as much as we can. But little things that we found last year were coming back in were makeup, jewellery, um, you know, not the right uniform. So wearing, you know, inappropriate trousers. Um, so where you can, keep to the uniform regulations as much as possible. However, we do understand it's very difficult and difficult times. Part of the uniform policy now is that you have to have two masks or a face covering. So if one is lost or one is broken, then you've got a spare there. We do have them in school, but again, that's limited resources that we have to give. We'd also like you to have um, hand sanitizer with you. Again, just the same as last year, but we have increased the number of hand sanitizer stations around school. We now have them externally, and I'll go into a bit more detail about that later on in this video. Please, please try not to be too anxious coming back. I was saying to Mr. Guys the other day, I felt quite anxious on Monday about the amount of work we've got to do, about the support, um, and, and what school's gonna look like so it happens to everyone. Anxiety is real and we get it. Miss Savage has done a little bit in this video just to tell you about what we can do to support you because you come first. Hi everybody, this is Miss Savage speaking. As most of you will already know, I work alongside your head of year to make sure that students are as happy and as possible in school. Some of you may be feeling anxious about returning to school or worried and some of you may find that your circumstances have changed since you were last in school and you're a little bit worried about how that may affect how you will work. If this is the case, please, please, please do contact us because there's so much support we can offer you. You could email csavage at coddlelearningtrust.com, that's my email, or you could email your head of year 
Or if you don't feel comfortable doing this, you could ask your parent or carer to email us or get in touch otherwise. We will be happy to support your return to school. And again, there's loads we can do. Another thing you could do is visit the colder care section on the school website. There you will find links to lots of services that can also provide you with further support. I encourage you to visit this section if you're worried, feeling anxious or just otherwise struggling at the moment. I'd also like to take this time to introduce to you the Student Informer. The Student Informer is a weekly newsletter and it's really important that you read it because it's got key information about what's going on in school as well as really exciting things like competitions and activities to get involved in as well as celebrations of your work and examples of brilliant things that you've done. So it's really important that you read that. You can get the Student Informer on the Facebook page through class charts and it's also on the school website. Please, please, please make sure you're dropping in on that weekly. So as you get off the bus or if you're walking into school through the main gates, please make sure you use the right entrance. OK, these are the same entrances that we used um, in the last lockdown. So the year sevens are at the back, year nines and eights on the front drive, year tens in the science block. So you, you form rooms are exactly where they were before Christmas. As you walk into the main building of school, especially at the front of school where the two student entrances are either side of the theatre, you'll see that we've put up hand sanitizers on the external walls. There will be a member of staff on each door to make sure that you're sanitising your hands as you come into school, so please ensure that you do that wearing your face mask as you come into school. At break and lunchtime, we'll still consider the staggered breaks and lunchtime. So you'll be still in those areas you were before Christmas. However, the difference is this time, we need you to keep the one metre rule to socially distance. So, in the diner, we have laid lines out on the floor to keep you safe. We have put more hand sanitizers up so you can sanitise your hands. We've also had to make sure that social distancing occurs on dining tables. So in that case, you are only allowed a maximum of five on the larger tables and three on the smaller tables. This does have some issues because then you have to eat and go. As you walk around school, we still have the one-way system. We have some new signs, so we have no entry signs where you cannot go and we have one-way signs. The idea of this is to keep the traffic moving quickly and safely around the school. So please adhere to this. I appreciate there's lots of new things happening, but it's all to make you feel safe. So what's new about Calder? Well, since the lockdown, it's given the site team an opportunity to really get stuck into our building. So as you're going round, you will see quite a lot of decorating happened, especially in the maths department. We've got a brand new suite of rooms, all freshly decorated with new technology and new equipment for you. You will also notice that in the old A to E area, or the old area where first aid was, we have a new school nurse called Liz Hainsworth. She's a brilliant addition to the Calder family and she will be there to help and support you with a variety of different things such as illnesses, mental health, anxiety, sickness or any other issues that you may want to discuss with her. Where we can, we'll be looking at the learning. But we want you back in school, we want you to be in a safe environment and then we'll look at the learning and look at supporting your learning. Please do not worry if you have not done all your lessons. Please do not worry about coming back to school. Everything is new to us. We will hit every challenge head on as long as we're supporting you and supporting our staff to make sure that we're all safe and we can get back to some normality. I can't wait to see you. And I look forward to seeing you on the corridors and having a chat with you and just being in back in school and having some normality. So please watch this video. If you have any questions beforehand, get your parents to contact us, contact your head of year. We're here for you. Take care, stay safe and see you soon.